good morning students in this video we can discuss about optimal code generator for expressions so already in last video we was discussed about how to construct target code or simple target code for the machines so in this video we can discuss how to generate optimal code for the expressions so already we discuss while we will go for <coughs> generating a target code so to perform any computations we can choose registers only so at the same way here while we will go for generating the optimal code we can choose registers so with the help of these registers we can generate optimally so the particular basic block can contain a single instruction then only we can able to generate the optimal code for that particular expression evaluation so in this process we can accept so we, uh, that particular machine can having a sufficient registers to generate the target code for that particular block of expression at a time so that means so in case uh, is uh, is not uh, there is not having sufficient registers to generate the optimal target code for the that particular basic block then we cannot able to generating the optimal code so whenever we are having the sufficient registers then only we can able to generate the optimal code for the basic blocks so that's why here we consider at a time only one instruction for each and every basic block so whenever we consider single instruction then obviously we are having the efficient registers to generate the target code or optimal code for the that particular expressions so for that purpose we are using the some algorithm so that algorithm we will discuss it later that means next concept so now while we are going to discussing about that particular algorithm so in this algorithm we are introducing or we will discussing about numbering scheme so with the help of these numbering scheme so whatever the modes of that particular syntax tree so that means this particular uh, expression can be generated the particular expression can be uh, expression related target code can be generated with the help of syntax tree so in this syntax tree whatever the modes so that particular modes can be stored in <coughs> registers so so for this particular expressions or this particular syntax tree to generate the optimal code so there is some fixed number of registers based on those fixed number of registers we can evaluate the expressions so those fixed number of registers are that particular numbering can also known as the ershov number so actually this one is ershov is an uh, is a scientist so he uh, he was find this particular mechanism so that's why this numbering is also known as the ershov numbers so while we will go for giving the numbering for any basic block or any uh, similar scheme of machines so we can use the single arithmetic registers with the help of the single arithmetic registers we can give the some numbers for each and every instruction and label so while we will go for generating the optimal code by using this ashow numbers we are using these three concepts or these three rules so that is so is there any label their value are that particular any leaf node label value is 1 so at the same way in case there is any interior node so and that particular interior node can have any child then their label value is also child label value so that means in case it was having single child then their label value is 1 in case it was having more than one child then their value is more than 1 in this manner at the same way in case the label of an interior node with two children and these two children are different ways so that means one is the larger children and another one is the shorter children or simple children so in case the larger of the labels of its children is that means so in case the particular children is the larger then we can choose labels are different labels so in case uh, the particular children is okay larger children then we can choose the value for uh, label value or numbering for the particular label is 1 plus whatever the number of children that means 1 plus in case one more children is there then the value is 2 in case two children is there then 1 plus 2 so in this manner we can give the numbering so now we can generate code from the labeled expression trees that means now how uh, now we can discuss how we can generate target code from labeled expression trees so which was already proved in our machine models so whenever we are uh, performing the any operation evaluation that means any uh, target code can be generated so in this process all operands must be stored in the registers so that means is there some instruction 
within instruction it must having some number of operands and some specific operator so out of those so each and every operand must be stored in the registers and such registers can be used by the both operand and the result also so expression result also so in case is there uh, is there uh, not enough registers that means the, uh, it was having only few registers then we can perform the spill operation that means uh, spill uh, here spill means already we discussed in last session so that means uh, uh, whenever we require some register currently our required number of registers are not available at that situation we can copy some register memory into main memories that means whatever the contents of registers that uh, contents can be copied into main memory and then such registers can, registers can be used for allocating the this particular expression this particular instruction related operands so at the same way we can use we can perform this spill operation so with the help of this one we can overcome the shortage of registers so in this model uh, we can force to load each and every operand into the register so at the same way the argument for this claim is embedded in the following algorithm so now we discuss whatever the algorithm we are used in this numbered expression trees so here uh, whenever we are having only fewer registers available than the label of the root of the tree so that means in case the label of the root of tree is required just assume either five registers will require in case we are having only either four or three registers at the time how we can perform the that particular eval uh, how we can evaluate the, that particular expression so for that purpose we are using the this particular algorithm with the help of this algorithm or this algorithm can explains how we can overcome that particular problem and then how to evaluating the that particular instruction so here the algorithm is while we will go for generating the code from labeled expression tree so this is the algorithm so for this algorithm the input is so a labeled tree with each operand appearing once so that means here we are taking the input as label tree so in this label tree each and every operand can be occurs only one time so that means so it can already evaluates the common sub expression so that's why each and every operator can occurs only one time and here the number of registers is must be greater than 2 so that is the minimum requirement for performing this particular algorithm and the output is optimal sequence of machine instructions so these instructions can be used to evaluate the root inform root to registers root into a registers and in this process we are not using more than r registers so in case there was having only r registers then we can use only the registers as r not r1 r2 and so on r minus one registers only we can use to generate the optimal code so here the methodology for implementing this algorithm is so we can apply the some recursive algorithm so that is starting at the root of the tree so we are starting from the root node of the tree uh, and their base value is 1 so for node n so that means that particular root root node having some number of nodes out of those nodes we consider some node so that node can be indicated with n and uh, there uh, it that particular node can require either r number of registers or less than r number of register less uh, either r number of register or lesser than the r number of registers so in this process the interior nodes with a label k so is there one more interior node that node was labeled with k and it requires more than r number of registers so at that time so we need to work on each side of the tree separately and store the result of the large subtree so that means so whenever we are evaluating the uh, numbered subtree uh, numbered expression tree to optimal code evaluation in this process in case there is some label k so it requires more more number of registers that means in case there exist only r number of registers but it requires more than r number of registers that means greater than r so at that time we can check all possibilities that means each and every side of the that particular tree and we can divide that particular tree into several subtrees and we can evaluate each and every subtree separately and finally we can combine the result so that's why it will be become as a larger subtree <coughs> so in this process uh, we are commonly we are using some r number of registers those are r not to r minus 1 so these are the details about 
uh, how to generating the optimal code generation from expressions thank you